good. It is 4 o'clock. We'll go ahead and call the March 9th, 2016 uh, meeting to order with the roll call, please. Mayor Householder. Here. Commissioner Blanchard. Here. Commissioner Crawford. Here. Commissioner Davis. Here. Commissioner Hardy. At this time, all who are able, if you would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. Moves us on to awards and proclamations. Item 3.1, the month of March 2015 as Women's History Month in the City of Salina, Lucy Larson, Human Relations Commission Vice Chair will read the proclamation. Mayor and current commissioner, you kind of run the gamut. I need a little step here so I can step. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Mayor, Commissioner, <coughs> friends. <coughs> Whereas American women of every race, class, and ethnic background have made historic contributions to the growth and strength of our nation in countless recorded and unrecorded ways, and whereas American women have played and continue to play a critical economic, cultural, and social role in every sphere of the life of the nation by consulting, excuse me, by constituting a significant portion of the labor force working inside and outside of the home, and whereas American women have played a unique role throughout the history of the nation by providing the majority of the volunteer labor force of the nation, and whereas American women were particularly important in the establishment of early charitable, philanthropic, and cultural institutions in our nation, and whereas American women of every race, class, and ethnic background served as early leaders in the forefront of every major progressive social change movement, and whereas American women have been leaders not only in securing their own rights of suffrage and equal opportunity, but also in the abolitionist movement, the emancipation movement, the industrial labor movement, the civil rights movement, the disability rights movement, and other movements, especially the peace movement, which create a more fair and just society for all. And whereas despite these contributions, the role of American women in history has been consistently overlooked and undervalued in the literature, teaching, and study of American history. And whereas American women of every race, class, and ethnic background have made historic contributions <coughs> to the growth and strength of our nation in countless recorded and unrecorded ways. And whereas, in honor of Women's History Month in Salina, the Salina Human Relations Commission is hosting a special event on Thursday, March the 12th, with guest speaker Lisa Bettinger, a 1986 Salina Central High School graduate, who will speak about the women who influenced her life and career at the Women's History Month celebration. So now, therefore, I, Aaron K. Householder, Mayor of Salina, Kansas, do hereby proclaim the month of March 2015 as Women's History Month, and I urge all of our citizens to participate in this celebration and further resolve to enact the principles of equality and fairness, justice and freedom in our daily lives. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and seal of the city of Salina, Kansas, this ninth day of March 2015, Aaron K. Householder, Mayor. Great, I know you mentioned the one uh, event here on Thursday, March 12th. Um, uh, any other uh, events planned this week? Uh, yes, we do. And we have uh, some handouts for the commissioners this afternoon. Uh, from noon to one, uh, I don't see the date, but from noon to one, on Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, uh, K State Salina Civic Luncheon at the College Center. She will, uh, Ms. Bettinger will encourage audience input for a discussion of restorative justice processes. Ann Zimmerman will describe the restorative justice efforts in Salina. And then from 5 to 7 p.m., the Women's History Month event at the Salina Art Center, uh, where she will describe, discuss women who have influenced her and whom she has influenced, especially in context, context of her restorative justice work. Um, <laughs> March 28th at 11, there will be a movie shown called Iron Jawed Angels, which is free of charge. 
the movie tells the remarkable and little known story of a group of passionate and dynamic young women led by Alice Paul and her friend Lucy Barnes, uh, played by Hilary Swank and Frances O'Connor, who put their lives in the line of fight for American women's rights to vote. And that is, where is, I'm sorry, where was that at? And what I believe it? this is at 11 o'clock at the Arts Center Cinema. Cinema, okay, great. <coughs> Fantastic, I've got your signed copy up here. Lucy, is the event from five to seven, is that Thursday or Friday? Thursday, uh, oh. Linda, are all of these on Thursday? Yes, this, okay. is, this is on Thursday. I think I have it on my Friday calendar. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, is it up on our website? On the yeah. Yeah, it's also on our website. Any more questions? <coughs> and thanks also for your, uh, your work on the commission, the county commission, you're stepping in and doing that. Nice change for us. Appreciate that. Okay, so I'll take it to our citizens forum. This is an opportunity for anyone who has anything they'd like to bring before the commission that is not on today's agenda. Uh, this is the opportunity to do that. We simply ask that you give your name and address and try and keep it around five minutes at, at length at maximum, if you will. No need to aspire to five minutes if you only have 30 seconds, but uh, <laughs> okay. Seeing none, we'll move on to uh, with nothing, no public hearings and I'm scheduled for a certain time, so we'll move on to the consent agenda. Item 6.1, approve the minutes of March 2nd, 2015. Item 6.2, resolution number 15-7185, appointing, appointing a member to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Item 6.3, authorize modification number two of agreement for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Community Action for a renewed environment level two grant with Kansas State University's Pollution Prevention Institute and the Saline County Health Department. Item 6.4, authorize the purchase of six wastewater pumps for wastewater collection from JCI Industries, Lee Summit, Missouri, in the amount of $155,423. Item 6.5, authorize the city manager to sign a request from the Kansas Department of Transportation to exchange 2015 federal funds for the Iron Avenue Improvements Project Number 13-3008. Item 6.6, .6, Authorize the mayor to approve change order number two for the following specialty contractor agreements, drilling support, site-wide remedial investigation to Environmental Priority Services, Inc. in the amount of $3,872 and drilling support, site-wide remedial investigation to GeoCore Incorporated in the amount of $6,474. Is there an item on the consent agenda the commission would like removed or amended? If not, I would... Um, I have a motion for the, to approve the consent agenda as presented. <coughs> Mayor, I move the approval of the consent agenda as presented. Second. Motion and second to approve consent agenda as presented. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? That motion carries 4-0 and shortens our meeting substantially. <laughs> 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 Moving on to administration. Item 7.1, second reading, ordinance number 15-10767, amending Salina Code section 31-900 and 31-1006, relating to the maintenance of weeds and grass nuisances and abatement of violations by the city of Salina. Ordinance number 15-10767 was passed on first reading on March 2nd, 2015. Since that time, no comments have been received. Is there anyone from the public here to speak on this matter? Seeing none, I bring it back to the commission for possible action. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt on second reading ordinance number 15-10767, amending Salinas Code sections 31-900 and 31-1006. Second. Motion has second to approve on second reading ordinance number 15-10767. Any further discussion? If I could get a roll call, please, on that vote. Commissioner Blanchard? Aye. Commissioner Crawford? Aye. Commissioner Davis? Aye. Mayor Hausholder? Aye. That motion carries 4-0. We have no <coughs> development business, so that moves us to other business. I see we have some other, other business. Any other business before the other, other business? A little bit of a Dr. Seuss thing there. Just one little bit. Well, I'm sorry, go ahead. No. Go ahead, Commissioner. I'll, I'll follow up at the end. Okay. <coughs> I was just going to mention that once again, the Salina City Commission was the top fundraiser at the uh, Bowl for Good Sake. They've been 
Kit Fishers, and uh, this year's uh, substituting uh, uh, for our uh, high score of last year was uh, Deputy City Manager Mike Sprague. Thanks, Mike, for bowling with us. <laughs> <coughs> if I hadn't been uh, sick, I'd have been there. <laughs> Beat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would have guessed even sick, you could have bowled better than most of us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also to Commissioner Davis and Mayor Householder and former Mayor Barb Shirley uh, was on the team. Uh, and then Keith Dad Nelson uh, rounded out the team. So we all had a great time. We raised $1,295 for uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and I think we all had a great time. Good job, Mike. Fantastic. Anyone else? Anything else? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, commissioners. I, I want to follow up from uh, last week's meeting. In last week's meeting, you were con well the uh, the motion to a have the Iron Street uh, Art Project added to the uh, roadway project was in essence defeated by lack of motion. And so, uh, from a staff perspective, given there is a problem with this project, what I what I really want to uh, get to tonight, if I can, <coughs> is to see if you still have interest in having a gateway feature uh, at that location. And if you do, if you recall the original conversation way back uh, in the spring of last year, uh, there was talk about whether, <coughs> excuse me, to use the CAD process or uh, whether or not we would work with a local designer that uh, 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 designs those types of features uh, for that, you know, that type of project. Those are really the options. And so if you are interested in still having a, an entryway feature there, uh, I guess your options are if you, you could go back into the CAD process and go through that, art, that artistic process or you could uh, direct staff to uh, go out and really look at what would be uh, uh, appropriate as a, as a design and architect engineer, <coughs> probably an architect type person uh, with, with some engineering background uh, that they'd have to obtain in order to finish uh, any type of real project. But anyway, to look at and, and, and really just explore possibilities at this point with very little dollars uh, put, put forward. Mm -hmm. But if you're interested in that, that's something that we'd want to get started on pretty quickly. I, I think so. I think that was the original intention was to have a gateway. I've uh, gotten quite a bit of feedback from the community who said, yeah, we really wanted to see some kind of gateway there. That just wasn't particularly what we had in mind either. So I think, at least from what I've heard, maybe other commissioners, of course, can weigh in, but I did hear that there was uh, anticipation of that. I, I'd like to see if there's any ability to raise any potential private funds there, but I know we're under a little bit of a time crunch, and that may push us to a, to a better time frame. But I would still personally have an interest in that. Yeah, I, and I would like to see incorporated into the the gateway, even if it's a, a, a pillar type stuff, mm -hmm. something that, that the user interacts with, so a person could find out what's going on downtown, uh, get information, uh, even have space for historical uh, information, <coughs> and make it a fairly functional piece of, uh, I'm going to say furniture, but that's not the right word, but <laughs> whatever you have outside taking up space. But Okay, uh <laughs> Commissioner Crawford, are you interested in uh, any form of the gateway? Um. <laughs> I probably would rather see us retain the original red painted uh, concrete. Red concrete? That we were talking about. Uh, I thought that was attractive. I think with the lighting and the new uh, street repair, and I mean, it's going to be all new. I think the design will be really, really pretty there without any <coughs> anything else. That's my thought. Okay, Mr. Blanchard. <coughs> I'm in favor of it just with a couple of things that I want to make sure we get right this time, and that is is that uh, with the intention that uh, if it does follow sort of the comprehensive plan, look at uh, being able to have a gateway at uh, four, anywhere from four to five different locations in the downtown, and so that, that it be a downtown gateway that can be replicated um, if that can be a part of the uh, request for proposal or, or whatever uh, on the project and then also I think it was uh, real important to all of us that that it still remain uh, budget neutral okay yeah I mean I'll look at all of you I think budget neutral I mm -hmm. presumed anyway right. as well as being able to replicate if we can make sense is, is everybody on the same page with that yeah. right you do. John, you mind me throwing you under the... No, we're good. Okay. Let's leave it All there. Right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay. The, the other question I have as well is, uh, would you like staff in, in contemplating the process that was utilized and some of the concerns along the way, would you like staff to schedule a study session to actually go through the CAD policy and give you an opportunity to 
read it in more detail, discuss it, and then uh, from that discussion determine if you feel there are any uh, tweaks that would need to be made. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Everybody comfortable with that? Yeah. yeah. Just separate from the issue of the gateway design. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it'd be completely separate. Just simply looking at the policy approach. I mm -hmm. would uh, also so like to know how many people, uh, you know, are actually involved in that process. You know. <coughs> I mean, is there three or four, or is there 13 or 14, or, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many people actually help make that decision? I mean, we appreciate the work you do. I mean, they've done some nice jobs and some other things, oh, but sure. yeah, this particular yeah. one just wasn't quite where we were where we were at. <coughs> Didn't fit the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, very good. That's all I had. Thank you. Okay. Before I make this motion, if I wanted to add, um, the motion I'm going to make here is for real estate and personal, but if I want to do it also for legal, what uh, would I just add Add for legal? Yeah, you'd have the uh, clerk should have the motion okay. language for you there, and you can throw that in as well. <coughs> and, and for timing purposes, maybe if the... Uh, Will the real estate portion take the full 45 minutes, or? I don't think it will take quite that long. Okay, let's let's try and do this uh, in 45 total. Will we, <coughs> will we have business after? No, from okay. staff's perspective, we, we do okay, not. So nobody will be waiting around. For those okay. Okay. <coughs> All right then, uh, Mr. Mayor, I move that we, uh, I move to recess into executive session for 45 minutes to discuss matters pertaining to the Acquisition of real estate for the reason that public discussion of the matter would adversely affect the city's position in relation to the acquisition of the real estate and for the purpose of discussing matters pertaining to non-elected personnel. Is, is this the right? Okay. For the reason that public discussion of the matter would violate the privacy rights of the non-elected personnel involved. Okay. Um, and additionally, to uh, for uh, and also to discuss with legal counsel matters subject to the attorney-client privilege, for the reason that public discussion of those matters would waive the privilege and adversely affect the city's interest in the matters, and reconvene at 5:05 uh, p.m. Second. Motion and second to move into executive session. 45 minutes and uh, reacquire this meeting at 5.05. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We're in executive session. Okay, thank you. Good, uh, 